Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokken Battle video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the second part of the Dokken Thank You Explosive Gratitude campaign. So basically it's you know pretty straightforward if I can be honest. It's not a big expansion to the campaign. It's actually not bringing too much because the second part realistically isn't going to be that long. Heroes is actually going to cut in a little bit of a way into the second part. But we'll go through the missions, we'll go through what's been added. Uh, the part 2 missions are fairly straightforward. A lot of them just have to do with completing a certain amount of story events and then completing stages under special conditions. Most of those are simple, uh, like completing stages, stages under certain time limits, completing stages without taking damage, completing stages with uh, certain categories of units on the team so it's all relatively straightforward there's nothing too crazy here in terms of the missions i think for most people they shouldn't have any huge issues with the stage like they shouldn't have any major concerns any major problems any like issues completing the missions they just in general should have a pretty decent time so nothing too crazy here quite a few stones as well uh, 11 stones for the second part of the missions and some gift cards and some doken festivals and summon tickets so a lot of really nice rewards here i think personally you shouldn't really have like a huge issue i think generally speaking you should be good to go should have a pretty decent time and yeah for me fairly straightforward then you know in terms of the special condition missions uh nothing too crazy here um, yeah, in terms of these special conditions, uh, just in general, pretty normal stuff. Uh, so you shouldn't really have any major issues. If you do, uh, obviously, you know, just give me a shout in the comments down below. But yeah, movie heroes is a special condition category. Really, nothing too crazy. Um, honestly, super duper simple. So that's the special missions, and beyond that, there's not too much that's been added in. Uh, part 3 of the Dokken Quest mode was added in yesterday, so that's not really part of part 2, it's kind of its own separate thing. Uh, and if you look at part 2, you know, it's really really simple. Basically, we got the addition of the World Tournament, we got a Legendary Summon Banner, uh, and then we also got the addition of an Extreme Super Battle Road stage. That's literally it. Uh, there was nothing too crazy added on beyond that. Uh, if you take a look, Extreme Super Battle Road for Movie Heroes, the 42nd World Tournament. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, realistically, not too much content. Obviously, uh, if you've already noticed, I've done a video on some team builds in that for the World Tournament. So I'll leave a link to that uh, in the top right-hand corner, you know, just so you guys can see. Uh, but yeah, pretty, pretty simple stuff, honestly speaking. Extreme Super Battle Road, Movie Heroes probably going to be a relatively decent run a lot of strong movie heroes category units have come out movie heroes is kind of like the go-to category now for buffs this year so you shouldn't really have a big problem there and then of course we also have you know the uh world tournament which is a fairly uh you know, decent uh, way to get stones over 50 of them as well so fairly fairly good decent way to get stones really really consistent and yeah over 50 stones for this event so some really nice stuff and then yeah finally the last thing i guess to mention is the legendary summon banner i'll do a save or summon but uh you know to cut a long story short with heroes coming around the corner with the year end step up banners new year's banners christmas day uh tanabata being you know not confirmed uh you know it is very much possible to not want to spend stones right now. Wherever possible, don't spend stones. So yeah, I would suggest not something on this banner. Overall, the banner itself as well is okay. It's like distinctly average. I mean, a lot of these units are decent units for now what would be considered mid-tier content uh, and for the Gods of Destruction events, but a lot of them can't really do um, you know, like red zone or anything like that. So if you're looking for units that are going to bust out red zone, very few here, maybe the AGL Super Vegeta, uh, the Strength UI Goku, I guess, still probably. Uh, and yeah, that, but that's pretty much it. Honestly speaking, really not that intense a banner. Decent, but really nothing special. Not something you should spend stones on. 
uh, even with the discount summon. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically it. And then tickets, there's some ticket banners. I'll address those in another video in greater detail. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of ticket banners for the World Tournament. So we'll decide which one you should choose then. But that's pretty much it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So until then, take care, stay safe. And if you have any comments, just leave one down below. That's it for me. Bye.